My friend, if you can't do pull-ups yet, don't be ashamed or let it ruin your day. Let me see if I can help you out. First of all, don't be embarrassed if you can't do a pull-up. We're all at different places in our fitness journey. There are a lot of really strong people that once couldn't do a pull-up. Second, you can do a pull-up. There are many kinds of pull-ups. As I often say, while pull-ups are easy, one-arm pull-ups are hard. For most of us, some of you are scary strong. So find a pull-up variation that you can do and work it until you're strong enough to move on. You can start with a basic wall pull-up until you can do three sets of 50. Then you can do horizontal pull-ups. Find something around sternum height. Do these until you can do three sets of 35. Next, we can do them at around hip height. Your goal is three sets of 25. Next, we're actually gonna raise these a little bit until you can hold them while sitting down like this. Try to go straight up, but assist with your legs. Aim for two sets of 20. Eventually, you won't need much assistance from your legs and you'll finally be able to do a full pull-up. Congratulations. If you like these rings, I'll leave a link to them in my bio. I like them because they adjust and allow my hands to turn. If your joints start to hurt, you're progressing too quickly. Go back to easier exercises for now. Be safe, you got this. Have a beautiful day. Do you hear the sound when you squat down? My friend, if your knees hurt when you squat, they shouldn't. Squats aren't supposed to damage your knees, and in fact, taking your legs through this full range of motion can actually strengthen your joints. As usual, we can start with something we can do and work our way up. First, we want to acclimate our legs through working through a full range of motion. Work these with a resistance band until you can do three sets of 50 before moving on. Next, find something around knee height. You can support your weight with your arms and do jackknife squats. Again, support as much as necessary and try to keep your heels on the ground. Then find something around chest height. Now you can do full range assisted squats. Build up to three sets of 30. So you could use two chairs or two tables. And now we may do half squats. Build up to two sets of 50 with your thighs going parallel to the ground. Work these hard once or twice a week and try to go lower and lower each time. Eventually, you'll be able to squat all the way down and up without pain. Congratulations, your older self will thank you. Have a beautiful day. My friend, if you can't do push-ups, just like with everything else in the world, you can build up. Let me help. There's no reason to be ashamed if you can't do a push-up. Fitness is a journey and we all start somewhere. Plus, there are many kinds of push-ups. So we find one we can do and we work it until we're strong enough to move on. We can start with some wall push-ups. Aim for three sets of 50. The reason you're doing so many is so you can practice your pushing motion. Next, we can do incline push-ups on a railing, table, or any stable surface. The lower the object, the harder. I recommend starting with something at least higher than your hips. Work these until you can do three sets of 40. Next, we finally go back to the ground, and we can do kneeling push-ups. And no, I never call these girl push-ups. This is a great therapy exercise that we don't need to shame, and I've never met a girl that likes them being called that. Anyway, work these until you can do two sets of 25, and then you should be strong enough to do a regular full push-up. Congratulations! If you start getting joint pain, you may have progressed too quickly. Go back to some of the easier variations. Sometimes our muscles are strong enough to move on, but our joints are not. If you're interested, I have a full YouTube video on this that I'll link in the comments. Have a beautiful day. Hey friends, here's how I can build up to some bodyweight dips. Dips tend to be harder on the shoulders than push-ups are, but if you can build up to them, that just means you'll be that much stronger. They also train and grow the largest muscles in our upper body, which are our lats. To start, you just need two raised platforms of similar height. It's common to use parallel bars, but you can also use chairs or tables. Just make sure they're stable and safe, not like this. You'll also want a bench or chair for the earlier variations. You can start off with some bent knee dips. The further out your feet, the harder it is. And the closer your feet, the easier it is. Until eventually you should be able to do them with your legs straight. And then you can try them with your feet elevated. I knew I'd be using you as exercise equipment. Welcome to the team. And then you can try the same thing, but on parallel platforms. As you ease into parallel dips, you can support gently with your legs. Eventually, you only need support with the back of your feet, until finally you can do them without any extra support, other than the oxygen molecules in the air. Well, hot diggity dog, you've done it once again. Doing them on rings requires a little bit more stability, but shouldn't be much harder. You can try them leaning forward if you want to emphasize your chest a little bit more. Work hard, but if you feel joint pain, try an easier variation. Have a beautiful day, my beautiful friend. My friend, if you can't do a setup, don't let it ruin your day. Here's how you can build up. You can start with easier exercises and work your way up. You'll be pleased to know you can do all these exercises in the comfort of your own bed. People ask me about that all the time. First, you can do knee tucks. Work these once or twice a week until you can do three sets of 30 before moving on to the next step. When you're strong enough to do that, you can move on to knee raises. At first, your movement will be fast and jerky like this. Over time, learn to control every inch of the movement. You can move on when you can do three sets of 30. For the next step, we're just gonna straighten our legs a little bit. These are called bent leg raises. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Work these once or twice a week until you can do three sets of 25. At this point, you might already be able to do sit-ups, but let's add one more step. Straighten out your legs all the way and just do straight leg raises. To make it harder, don't touch your heels, keep them an inch or two off the ground. And bada bing, now you can sit up. High five! If you want to know more about leg raises and core exercises, I'll leave a YouTube link in the comments. Have a beautiful day. My friend, one of the best things you can do for your strength and mobility is to build up to a nice deep body weight lunge. And mobility can really enhance your strength and power.
Unfortunately, it's widely accepted in the calisthenics and fitness community that there is no safe way to build up to the lunge. If you can't do it, just kidding, of course there are ways to build up. There always are. Now put your beautiful leg up on a wall, and you can do some leg press lunges to acclimate yourself to the movement. For all variations, try to work both sides equally. Generally, the higher the leg, the easier the exercise. But eventually, you want to work up to something around knee height that allows your hamstrings to entirely cover your calves, ideally with your heels completely down and your foot horizontal. Eventually, you can work up to a short lunge like this. You can alternate legs if you want, or you can just keep walking. Start stepping further and further until you can do a nice deep body weight lunge. Now some may wonder if it's safe to have your knees go over your toes. Well, he ain't called knees behind toes, guy. Building up to a full, pain-free, controlled range of motion is an important part of your fitness journey. Keeping your back leg as straight as possible can be a nice stretch for your hip flexors. Having tight hip flexors can cause interior pelvic tilt, which can be a source of lower back pain. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Hello my friend, here's how you can build up to an exercise called the bodyweight bridge, also called the back bend or the wheel pose. We spend so much time hunching forward nowadays, so training our body to arch the other way fixes a surprising amount of problems. Plus it strengthens our spine and the muscles surrounding it. There are many kinds of bridges and you can work your way up. You can start by doing some short bridges. Push your hips up as high as you safely can and come back down. Next you can move on to some straight bridges. Try one second up, two second pause, and come back down. You can elevate your feet to make it a little harder. Grab onto a pole, tree, or wall at shoulder height. From here, we can do high angled bridges. Work your way down until you can do these on a railing or a bench. I know they look a bit ugly. Eventually, you'll be able to lean back like this. Get into position and push up and start doing head bridges like this. Work your way down with some rolled up towels. Use fewer and fewer as you get stronger until you can do a full bridge from the ground. If bridges hurt your wrists, you may be compensating too much with your legs. Try to straighten your legs so your wrists don't have to bend as much. Don't be embarrassed if you don't get it right away. Like, I'm not embarrassed the sun keeps setting on me while I film. I'm a little embarrassed. Have a beautiful day.